Jabronis. Last time we all hung out together, we finished up the final installment of a long-winded uh, French cannery deep dive. We could just jump straight in to another big deep dive, or we could do some weird stuff in between. That sounds like fun, right? Yeah, this is definitely a weird one. This is a, a brand called Rodel, Rodel. Let's see what, let's see what the translate says. Ooh, German fighter pilot in 1933. Rodel, Rodel. So yeah, it's Rodel and uh, these are both interesting tins. I think, I think this one's gonna be fun. Um, mainly because you'll notice it's a little bit itty bitty and I hypothesized when I bought this that there's just one sardine in here, which that doesn't seem worth the tin, right? Is that worth the materials of actually canning this? I don't know. Honestly, it's like I'm torn between like, oh, this is so fancy. Like, whoa, this is such a serious deal that they only they only needed to put one in here. Is this really fancy or is this just like an environmental disaster? Anyway, let's find out. Come on. Ah. They managed to squeeze two in there. All right, yeah, that's pretty impressive. It's pretty cute, it's pretty quaint. I think it's teetering on the fancy side. Maybe the materials are worth two sardines. That's fine. I'll accept that. From the floor. Oop. I only got two shots. I better not screw these up. Yeah, I mean, cool. That's a rotal. Why do these taste the way they do? They taste, um, fairly aged, but I don't see any indication that they're aged on the web page. Yeah, they look pretty aged too. They're, they're pretty salty. I'm not sure what to think. They're, the, the web page is saying 75% sardines, 25% extra virgin olive oil and salt. One gram of salt. I'm not seeing anything about them being aged or prepared in any special way. The best way to get flavor into a sardine is to grill it. Light seasoning, olive oil. Yet, the flavor is unmistakably different than any Dean I've ever had. I really don't understand this. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, when I Google Rodel, I just get the top 10 German aces of World War II. Rodel sardines. Let's, you know, let's narrow it down a little. Okay, here's a, here's a bio. The first fish cannery run by Charles Desiree Rodel was established more than a century and a half ago. Since then, this company has grown to offer a wide range of sardines, mackerels, tunas, and other seafood products. These products are of high quality, carefully sorted after fishing and then prepared by hand. Every brand says that. Every brand says they're of high quality. I just want to know what what's different about these because they taste they taste almost fermented. Like they have a strong flavor that feels like it came naturally. I don't understand. I don't know. Let's jump into the other ten. Maybe we'll learn something. So this one is uh, sardines in olive oil flavored with achards and truffles. 0.06% truffle in this. What's an achard again? I feel like I forget every time. Oh boy.
You know what, man? I don't like it. Look at this sloppy, dry Dean. Pardon my language, but it looks like crap. Yeah, I don't like this. This is giving me like Brunswick vibes. I don't taste truffle. I taste a lot of black pepper. That must be what the 1.8% of aromatics is. I'm sorry, but in the words of Prue and Mary Berry, it's just not worth the calories. I, I kind of thought the other tin had like an interesting reason it tasted weird. I think it might've just been doo-doo fish because these ones are doo-doo. These are an absolute mess. I'm surprised they're holding together at all. They're actually, they're firm, but they're overly firm. You know what I mean? They're like almost fish jerky. Yeah. This is not the highest quality fish. And if this is the highest quality fish, I don't like it. I don't like high quality fish, I guess. I'm being, I'm unleashed, I'm unchained. This is, this is if I was like a Def Jam comic. These are doo-doo fish. These are dry doo-doo fish jerky turd nuggets. And that's the jabroni promise. This is my first ever bad review and it feels good to get it off my chest. Thanks for being here for it, jabronis. Take it easy.